Hey, say hi to everyone. Alright, so today you're looking into Finn's cage right now and we're going to do some spot cleaning. I actually don't have to clean his cage very often. He's a pretty clean animal as far as animals go. Um, the main portion of the cage that I have to clean usually is this loft because that's where his wheel is. And as you can see, he does go to the bathroom on his wheel. Hopefully the lighting's okay because he does have a UV bulb. Um, and that can sometimes throw off my camera's white balance. I also have to clean, uh, generally speaking, some of this stuff down here. So I'm going to do a deeper spot clean today, I think, because it's been a little while since I've done one. So I'm going to take the loft down and everything like that and uh, just get everything cleaned up. So let's do it. Hey, bud. How you doing? Oh, sorry. Very scary. Hello. Say hey guys. I'm getting really fat these days. So here's Finn and uh, he's getting quite fat these days. So we've actually had to cut back on food. I'm not used to him eating so much, but now that he has heating and UV, he eats like a little piggy and uh, he's getting as big as a little piggy too. So he is now officially on a little bit of a diet because he doesn't go into torpor till uh, probably like October or November. So it's a little bit early for him to be uh, getting fat. <laughs> So yeah, here's Finn. I'm gonna set him off in his little bonding bag while I finish up his cage. So I am gonna vacuum this, but then I'm gonna take it out because I need to clean his sand down below too. I'll have to be careful with that because it's covered in dirt. Let's put it up here that way. If any falls, it'll just fall into the cage. I'm fine with that. Just shower down. All right, is any of this connected to that? All right. So this is what the base of the cage looks like. You guys don't actually see this very often because it is covered. So I'm just gonna move the hay, make sure he hasn't pooped underneath it. He hasn't, he doesn't really use it often. And then I need to get the poops out of the sand there so I just use one of these little strainers I'm not entirely sure what this little strainer is even for but it works well for straining sand and then this here is what he eats on um, so I just take a dustpan and dust that off I just don't want him eating bedding or anything like that so I do that periodically so Tenrix typically poop in very specific spots and Finn likes to poop a whole lot in here now I just spot cleaned this the other day but I don't know if you can tell there are still a couple little poops in here so I just pick out the poops that may be gross to some of you but I just wash my hands when I'm done I mean they are my pets. I deal with their poop on a regular basis, so it's really not, it's not the end of the world to touch it. It does look like he's got a little bit of stuck eco-earth back here, which means he's probably been peeing over here. I'll just use this. Since I have it on me, I don't want any pee-covered substrate back in this corner. We'll put his little thing back and then we'll put this doubles as both a hide and the end of a ramp obviously so this is two bendy bridges and one of them is attached to the side here but the other is not I do wash this fleece liner when necessary but he tends to pee 
in very specific spots in the cage, like that corner that I just scooped up. All right, so let's get his house back in here. He has this, or I have this strategically placed so that when he sleeps in here, he's also basking because the light shines into the hole. And I'll put the ramp back in so that I'm not spilling Eco Earth anywhere else anymore. There we go. All right. There's little Munchkin. <laughs> he has been hanging out in the uh, carrier that I have for him. <laughs> He's probably ready to go back to bed because I already had him out today. He runs pretty quick, so keep an eye out. Okay, bye. <laughs> you come out. Come on. You gotta come get it. Come on. Oh, good boy. What do you think about a beetle? Just don't take my fingers off. That'd be preferable. <laughs> Alright. We can do one more. If we'll come and take one. I know it's dark in there. Sorry, you can't really see him much. He's under the lip of the hide, so we'll see if we can get him to come forward a little. Hi! Yes, come out. You got it? Good boy. <laughs> Here. We'll do one more. We'll just feed him his meal for tonight by hand. You gotta come out for it. Come on, he's wiggling. You smell it? Come on. Good boy. This one feels like it's... All right. Very last one, sweetheart. For the entire evening. Come on. All the way. Good boy. <laughs> All right. So that's it for Mr. Finnegan. <laughs> so that's it for Mr. Finn. He is waiting for more, but he does not get more. As I mentioned, he uh, is a chunk and is on limited portions. We have to deal with your portion control, sir. Lastly, we just pop in the wheel. He's being so cute over there. I don't know how well you can see him, but he's just wiggling his nose looking for more food because he's a chunk. You don't need any more food, sir. All right, so the nice clean wheel goes in. I actually don't care for this wheel much, but he loves it and that's all that matters. And then I do actually take the doors of the cage off when I clean, so I have to put those back on. Um, but that's really it. Pretty simple. Ten ricks are pretty clean, so cage cleaning is very low maintenance and infrequent. Finn's cage gets cleaned seasonally. I know that seems weird. Um, but he is just a really incredibly clean animal and uh, he does get a little bit stressed when I clean, uh, when I do full cleans that is. So 
we limit them to when they're actually necessary. Um, he will need a full cage clean before he goes into torpor. That way, you know, you really can't see him. <laughs> he will need a full cage clean before he goes into torpor, but we have a little bit until then. He's getting comfortable down in his bed and I'm gonna leave him be. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about Finn or his cage, feel free to leave them down below and I will hopefully see you all in my next video. Bye! I'm a lonely heart, heart feline. I think what's mine and I'm leaving behind.